call on uh, the uh, European Union to step up its effort to use all diplomatic means in order to have a ceasefire, in order to protect the civilians in Ethiopia. Thank you, Mr. P President. Dear uh, colleagues, we have already hundreds of civilian deaths uh, and uh, mass displacement of people uh, in Ethiopia. Um, it has already been said that there are more than 40,000 people that have crossed the border uh, to Sudan, to the southern part of Sudan, destabilizing uh, even more uh, the fragile situation uh, in uh, Sudan. Uh, these developments are going on um, with violences and breaches uh, of human rights. At this moment, access for human rights uh, workers and aids is severely restricted. Uh, those organizations can even not go uh, into uh, those uh, regions to help uh, the people. We call on the EU and the member states to step up humanitarian aid, to, uh, aid together uh, with the UNHCR uh, to help those people, those uh, most uh, vulnerable. At the same time, we have a communication and electricity uh, blackout, which has already been said by Ms. Kanko, in, uh, in the Tigray uh, region, which is very worrying, and uh, we call on the uh, federal government to restore this uh, situation to have access to communication uh, and electricity for the civil population uh, in this uh, region. We support the efforts to the mediation proposed by the African uh, Union and uh, call on uh, the uh, European Union to step up its effort to use all diplomatic means in order to have a ceasefire, in order to protect the civilians in Ethiopia. Thank you. in Ethiopia.